Welcome to In Case You Missed It, a monthly show that highlights stories from the past month. Well, in case you missed it, I'm your host, Josue Rivera. Now, before you say anything, I know, I know, there was no episode last month. And you might feel a little betrayed, but don't worry, I got you. Because today's episode is a double feature. As we take a look at what happened in both May and June, our citizen soldiers are representing the Puerto Rico National Guard with pride. Sergeant Aníbal Soto and Specialist Jaimel Olivares competed in the best warrior competition held in Kentucky. Although they did not come out on top, our boys did a great job. As part of our state partnership program, various government agencies from Honduras and the Dominican Republic visit Puerto Rico National Guard Aviation. The purpose of the visit was to exchange ideas and information on firefighting and rescue techniques in a variety of situations. Now, most people run in order to pass their APFT. And others take it up a notch. Members of the Puerto Rico National Guard participated in the 40th annual Lincoln National Guard Marathon held in Nebraska. The team placed second overall, and individually they didn't do too bad either. All the runners came in the top 17 places. Speaking of teamwork, the Puerto Rico National Guard joins the Virgin Islands in Vigilant Guard 2017. The purpose of this exercise is to test the abilities of state and territorial governments to react to catastrophic events. In other news, the Puerto Rico State Guard joined the efforts with the municipality of Cataño. The purpose was to rebuild the homes that were lost due to a fire that occurred near the end of last year. It comes around once a year, and no, I am not talking about your birthday or Christmas or any holiday for that matter, I'm talking about annual training. The AT 2017 season kicked off on June 3rd with 101st Troop Command and Joint Force Headquarters. The 156 Airlift Wing held an emotion-filled change of command ceremony where Colonel Edward Vaughn relinquished command to Colonel Raymond Figueroa. And the State Partnership Program is back at it again. This time our partners from Honduras are here in order to review best practices for urban operations in order to better prepare themselves for any future urban peacekeeping operation. Always ready, always there. That's our National Guard motto and the 892nd multi-role bridge company of the 190th Engineer Battalion embodies just that. They, with employees from the municipality of Arecibo, assemble an acro bridge to help mitigate an issue with the current bridge, which has been affected by erosion. The Puerto Rico National Guard Youth Challenge Academy conducted community service as part of their Aid Components program. The students helped clean up former Naval Base Roosevelt Roads and made a food donation to a local retirement home in the town of Ceiba. And closing out the month of June, a triple ceremony was held at the Puerto Rico National Guard headquarters in San Juan. Sergeant Major Juvencio Mendez received his lateral appointment to Command Sergeant Major. A change of responsibility ceremony for the Office of State Command Sergeant Major between Command Sergeants Major Nelson Vigas and Juvencio Mendez. And finally, the retirement ceremony of Command Sergeant Major Nelson Vigas. That's all for today's episode. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Links for those pages are in the description. Now, if you like this video, please hit like and share this video. Also, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you on the next, in case you missed it.